departure to land on our drone ship, a short ball gravitas. As many of you may already know, successfully recovering parts of the rocket allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the cost of space access. Coming up next, we should hear a call out over the nets updating us that Falcon 9 is in startup, which means that the flight computers have taken over the launch countdown. Falcon 9 is in startup. And we just heard the call out that Falcon 9 is now in startup. And in a few seconds, we should hear our launch director, or LD, give the final go for launch. LD, go for launch. Just heard from the launch director that they have given the final go to proceed for launch. So now let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 22 Starlink satellites into space. 30 seconds. Seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engine full power, and we're from the Starlink 6 back 10. Go Starlink, go Falcon. Equal pitching down range. Engine this camera pressure nominal. At T plus 30 seconds, F9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral, Florida at 11.36 p.m. Eastern Time. The next major milestone coming up is Max Q, which is when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stress as it ascends Power through the Earth's atmosphere. Nominal. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Falcon 9 is supersonic, which means it's now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. You just heard that call out for Max Q, which again is when the rocket experiences the largest amount of external stress. We're now about one minute away from a series of back-to-back -back events. We have MECO, or main engine cutoff, stage separation, which is S or SES-1, or second engine start-1, and then fairing separation. MECO, or main engine cutoff, is when all nine of the M1D engines on the first stage shut down. Stage separation is when the first and second stages separate from one another. SES-1, or second engine start-1, is where we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And then fairing separation is when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. So let's keep an eye out for these events as they will, are going to happen in quick succession. Miguel. Stage separation confirmed. And we just had some great views and confirmed over the nets that we had successful MECO stage separation and SES-1. We're coming up on fairing separation from the second stage in just a few seconds. Bearing separation confirmed. Great call out there. We will be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Doug. Both of the fairing halves that supported today's mission are flight proven, with one half flying for its 10th time and the other its 11th.
So while we don't have a view of the first stage right now, it is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. And the MVAC engine that is attached to the second stage that you can see on your screen is continuing its burn, which will last for a few more minutes. Vehicles are following a nominal trajectory. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Designed and manufactured by SpaceX, Starlink is the world's largest satellite internet constellation. Starlink satellites operate in low Earth orbit, which enables the delivery of high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. As I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 56th mission just this year and 255th mission overall. Coming up next in the mission is the entry burn on the first stage, which is the first of two burns it'll go through in preparation for landing. On the entry burn, engines 1, 5, and 9 will relight, slowing it down for re-entry. Both vehicles continue to follow a normal trajectory. Stage one FTS has safe stage one entry burn started. There's that call for stage one entry burn. You can see that three of those engines have relit. Stage one entry burns shut down. Stage two FTS has saved. And you just heard that call out that the entry burn on the first stage has now completed. Stage one transonic. The next event will be the stage one landing burn, which is when engine nine prepares for touchdown on our drone ship. You can see on the bottom left hand side of your screen that stage one is continuing to slow down while stage two continuing continues to increase in speed. Stage one landing burn. And there's confirmation that the stage one stage landing burn in terminal guidance. has started in preparation for a touchdown on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. Stage one landing with the boy. Stage one landing confirmed. This Falcon 9 first stage has now successfully launched and landed for the 13th time. We're now coming up on second Expected engine loss of signal, Cape. Stage 
sigue. We just heard that we had second engine cutoff, and now we're waiting for confirmation of good orbit. Still waiting for confirmation of good orbit. Although we didn't hear the call out, we did get confirmation from the teams that we did have nominal orbital insertion. So today's landing marks our 217th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. And with confirmation of successful first stage landing and second engine cutoff, that wraps up our coverage for now. Be sure to check out our social media for confirmation of Starlink deployment. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.